which blood vessel carries oxygen rich blood from the heart to the body two options are pulmonary artery pulmonary vein aorta or superior vena cava and the correct answer is c that is aorta the aorta is the largest artery in the body and carries oxygen rich blood from the left ventricle of the heart to the rest of the body question number 76 which type of blood cell is involved in clotting two options are red blood cells white blood cells platelets or plasma cells and the correct answer is c that is platelets platelets are cell fragments that play a crucial role in blood clotting by forming plugs at the site of blood vessel injuries to prevent excessive bleeding question number 77 what is the function of the pulmonary artery two options are to carry oxygenated blood to the body to carry deoxygenated blood to the lungs to pump blood to the heart or to supply blood to the heart muscle the correct answer is b that is to carry deoxygenated blood to the lungs the pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle to the lungs for oxygenation completing the pulmonary circulation loop question number 78 Which of the following is a major risk factor for coronary artery disease? Two options are low cholesterol levels, regular physical activity, smoking, or adequate hydration. The correct answer is C. That is smoking. Smoking is a major risk factor for coronary artery disease as it contributes to the buildup of plaque in the arteries. reducing blood flow to the heart muscle question number 79 what is the term for the double walled sac that encloses the heart two options are endocardium myocardium epicardium or pericardium and the correct answer is d that is pericardium The pericardium is a double walled sac that encloses and protects the heart providing a lubricated environment to reduce friction during heart beats. Dear friends, you are attending the MCQ quiz of the most repeated and most important questions based on cardiovascular system. And this is the part 4 of this 100 MCQ series on cardiovascular system. I'm sure that you don't want to miss the previous three parts are very important for your upcoming examinations and if you want to attend those quiz and check your knowledge and the link has been given in the description let's continue question number 80 which structure in the heart receives oxygenated blood from the lungs two options are right atrium right ventricle left atrium left ventricle and the correct answer is c that is left atrium the left atrium receives oxygenated blood from the lungs through the pulmonary veins and then pumps it into the left ventricle question number 81 what is the function of the superior vena cava two options are to carry to carry oxygenated blood to the body to carry deoxygenated blood from the upper body to the heart to pump blood to the lungs or to supply blood to the heart muscle the correct answer is b that is to carry deoxygenated blood from the upper body to the heart the superior vena cava is a large vein that returns deoxygenated blood from the upper body to the right atrium of the heart Question number eighty-two: Which blood vessel carries oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart? 
Two options are aorta, pulmonary vein, pulmonary artery, or superior vena cava. The correct answer is B. That is pulmonary vein. The pulmonary veins carry oxygenated blood from the lungs to the left atrium of the heart, completing the pulmonary circulation. Question number eighty-three. What is the role of SA node, synotrial node? Two options are to generate electrical impulses and set the heart's space. To delay electrical impulses to the ventricles, to pump blood to the lungs, or to regulate blood pressure. The correct answer is A. That is to generate electrical impulses and set the heart's pace. The SA node generates electrical impulses that set the rhythm and pace of the heartbeat, making it the heart's natural pacemaker. Question number eighty-four: What condition is indicated by chest pain due to reduced blood flow to the heart? Two options are arrhythmia, angina pectoris, myocardial infarction, or hypertension. The correct answer is B. That is angina pectoris. Angina pectoris is chest pain caused by reduced blood flow to the heart muscle, often due to narrowing or blockage of coronary arteries. Question number eighty-five: Which type of blood vessel carries blood away from the heart? Two options are veins, capillaries, arteries, or venals. The correct answer is C. That is arteries. Arteries carry blood away from the heart to various parts of the body, delivering oxygenated blood in systemic circulation and deoxygenated blood in pulmonary circulation. Question number eighty-six. What is the term for the period of relaxation in the heart cycle? Two options are systole. Diastole, myocardium, or pericardium. The correct answer is B. That is diastole. Diastole is the phase of the cardiac cycle when the heart muscle relaxes and the chambers fill with the blood. Question number eighty-seven. What is the primary function of red blood cells? Two options are. To fight infections, to carry oxygen, to clot blood, or to regulate blood pressure. And the correct answer is B. That is to carry oxygen. Red blood cells contain hemoglobin, which binds to oxygen and transports it from the lungs to tissues and organs throughout the body. Question number eighty-eight. Which wall is located between the left atrium and the left ventricle? Two options are tricuspid wall, pulmonary wall, aortic wall, or mitral wall. The correct answer is D. That is mitral wall. The mitral wall, also known as the bicuspid wall, is situated between the left atrium and left ventricle. Regulating blood flow between these chambers. Question number eighty-nine. What is the term for the network of blood vessels that supplies blood to the heart muscles itself? Two options are pulmonary circulation, systemic circulation, coronary circulation, or lymphatic circulation. The correct answer is C. That is coronary circulation. Coronary circulation refers to the network of arteries and veins that supply blood to the heart muscle, ensuring it receives the oxygen and nutrients it needs to function. Question number ninety: What is the primary function of white blood cells? 
Shu option sa. To carry oxygen, to fight infections, to clot blood, or to regulate blood pressure. The correct answer is B. That is to fight infections. White blood cells are an essential part of the immune system, defending the body against infection and foreign invaders. Question number ninety-one. What is the main function of the tricuspid valve? Two options are to prevent backflow of blood into the right atrium. to prevent backflow of blood into the left atrium to prevent backflow of blood into the left ventricle or to prevent backflow of blood into the right ventricle the correct answer is a that is to prevent backflow of blood into the right atrium the tricuspid valve is located between the right atrium and the right ventricle preventing backflow of blood into the right atrium during ventricular contraction Question number ninety-two. What is the condition characterized by the accumulation of fatty deposits in the atrial walls? Two options are arrhythmia, atherosclerosis, hypertension, or anemia. The correct answer is B. That is atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis involves the accumulation of fatty deposits. or plaques in the arterial walls which can restrict blood flow and lead to cardiovascular diseases question number 93 which of the following is a symptom of heart failure two options are coughing shortness of breath sneezing or fever The correct answer is B. That is shortness of breath. Shortness of breath is a common symptom of heart failure as the heart is unable to pump blood effectively, leading to fluid buildup in the lungs. Question number ninety-four. What is the function of the left ventricle? Two options are to pump oxygenated blood to the body. to pump deoxygenated blood to the lungs to receive deoxygenated blood from the body or to receive oxygenated blood from the lungs the correct answer is a that is to pump oxygenated blood to the body the left ventricle pumps oxygenated blood into the aorta and systemic circulation supplying the entire body with oxygen rich blood Question number ninety-five. Which condition involves a temporary loss of blood flow to the brain, causing dizziness or fainting? Two options are myocardial infarction, stroke, hypertension, or transient acmic attack (TIA). The correct answer is D. That is transient transient acmic attack. A transient acmic attack is a temporary loss of blood flow to the brain, leading to symptoms like dizziness, fainting, and is often a warning sign for potential stroke. Question number ninety-six. What is the term for the small blood vessels that connect arteries to veins? Two options are capillaries, arterioles, venules, or lymphatics the correct answer is a that is capillaries capillaries are small blood vessels that connect arteries to veins facilitating the exchange of gases nutrients and waste products between blood and tissues question number 97 which of the following is a function of the lymphatic system two options are to carry oxygenated blood to the body to remove excess fluid from the tissues to produce red blood cells rbcs or to regulate blood pressure the correct answer is b that is to remove excess fluid from the tissues the lymphatic system helps to remove excess fluid from the tissues returns it 
to the bloodstream and plays a role in immune functions as well. Question number 98. What is the name of the condition where the heart beats with an irregular or abnormal rhythm? The options are tachycardia, bradycardia, arrhythmia or hypertension. The correct answer is C that is arrhythmia. Arrhythmia refers to any irregular or abnormal heart rhythm which can affect the heart's ability to pump blood effectively. Question number 99. What is the function of the aorta? Two options are to carry the oxygenated blood to the lungs, to carry oxygenated blood from the heart to the body, to pump blood to the heart muscle or to supply blood to the brain. The correct answer is B that is to carry oxygenated blood from the heart to the body. The aorta is the main artery that carries oxygenated oxygenated blood oxygenated blood from the left ventricle of the heart to the rest of the body. Question number 100. What is the primary role of the heart walls? The options are to pump blood, to prevent backflow of blood, to carry oxygen or to produce red blood cells. The correct answer is B that is to prevent backflow of blood. Heart walls ensure unidirectional blood flow through the heart's chambers, preventing backflow and maintaining efficient circulation. Friends, it is a time to comment your score out of 25 questions. And friends, thanks for joining us on this exciting journey. If you enjoyed the quiz and learned something new, then give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming exploration of fascinating topics in the medical field. Until the next time, stay curious, stay healthy. See you. Take care.